Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be listening to this. John E. Step with Blind Nation on another wonderful podcast with Becoming Your Own Hero. What is the impossible and what you can do to change your life? Welcome, everybody. Please give me a moment as I send out some invites to Facebook and Twitter and also Google. And then we will get started. All right, we got Facebook out of the way. And then I'm going to leave a link here in our chat window. And then we'll get started. Hope that everybody's doing good today. So far the sun is shining. The birds are chirping as you can hear. Of course, that always makes it better, don't it? Well, it seems my one board on here is not wanting to let me do our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. What about this? Nope. Alrighty, anyways, welcome everyone to Blind Nation Podcast. Glad to be here once again with all you wonderful people. Uh, we did a podcast yesterday that was a little bit of a inspirational podcast for some people. And of course, uh, the podcast that I'm doing today was requested uh, by a couple locations. Uh, they did not tell me if I could or could not reveal where they're from. But I will say this, uh, this will be a, a clean podcast. I will uh, rip out the tongue of the foul mouth uh, due to us having... Uh, younger uh, children listening anywhere from my understanding from the age of 13 up to 18 uh, we was going to do video but I'm still uh, trying to figure out how to do that and of course uh, with this podcast that's not going to be a problem anyways um, so yeah but let me say hello to all these wonderful baby boomers as I call them. I hope all you uh, wonderful children are doing well today. You are in school and you are uh, doing the right thing and you are in the right place. Uh, Your education and uh, being around other people and uh, learning and and soaking in all this information is, is a wonderful thing and it's one of the most important things that you can do Uh, in your life to prepare you for what I call the big world when you graduate so uh, I titled this podcast be your own hero and uh, some people might be wondering what what does that mean exactly what does it mean to be your own hero what's the true definition of that And uh, I I feel that everybody will always come up with their own definition uh, because everybody's life is a little bit different than another person's. 
Your life is different from mine. My life is different from uh, yours. Your life is different from your parents. Your parents is different from yours. Um, so, anyway, I was doing notes last night. And I thought, I want to be able to get a message through to everybody. Not just the children, but those of you that might be struggling in life. It means a world to me to be able to do this for you and to be able to help you fight the fight and get through your struggles. Uh, the first thing I'm going to tackle right now is, is uh, more directed to the blind community. I've, I've got notes here that were sent to me uh, via email. And if you ever want to write me and request a podcast for me to cover, I'd be glad to do that. Uh, or if you ever want to write me and request that I come to a location and speak, I'd be glad to do that as well. You can email me at johnny at theblindnation.com. That's J-O-H-N-N-Y at theblindnation.com. Give you a chance to write that down for a second. And, uh, Being visually impaired, being completely blind, or even having a disability is one of the most complicated things that any person could ever have to deal with. Uh, we are born into this world with more challenges already waiting on us. More challenges than the average person that doesn't have a disability and don't have to worry about the obstacles that they got to get around. Of course, there's obstacles for everyone in this world. But when they're born, there's a lot of obstacles that's not there. For us, they're there. And there's nothing we can do to change that. There's nothing we can do to change who we are. As far as our physical appearance. And disability. But what we can do is accept it. And that's what I want to talk to you about. You got to accept who you are. And I promise you, if you accept who you are, life will be much easier. There will be challenges, but you'll be able to get through them challenges without a problem. When you can stand up and you can face yourself and you can say, yes, I am blind. Yes, I do have a disability. Who's got a problem with it? Because I don't. You see, it doesn't matter what other people think about you. It doesn't matter if they think that you are uh, too smart or not too smart, too fat or too skinny. Too short or too tall. Too rude or too polite. Uh, too clean or too dirty. None of that matters. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks about you besides you. And let me paint a little picture for you. I want you to tell me. If you automatically start thinking that you're a bad person and you automatically start thinking that you cannot succeed in life and you automatically think that everybody is judging you, what's going to happen? What's your life going to be like if you look at everything the way that I just said? And where are you going to end up? Well, let me tell you bluntly where you'll end up. You'll end up in the opposite world of heaven. It will be nothing but hell for you. There will be emotions... 
anger, abuse, drinking, smoking, dirty habits, unorganized, if you don't accept who you are. I can tell you that because I lived a life of about 13 years of not accepting who I was. And folks, it will put you through nothing but hell. You will feel the worst about yourself. You might think that you don't. You might assume that you're feeling good about yourself because you're not accepting who you are and you're not accepting your disability. But at the end of that road, somewhere along that path, you're going to fall and you're going to fall hard. And what I mean by that is you're either going to start drinking and become an alcoholic and destroy your life. Or you'll start uh, doing drugs, ruin your life, or you'll just not care and sit back and receive the monthly income for the rest of your life and stay in your bedroom playing games for the rest of your life and miss out on all the other great opportunities that you could have had. All by... Not accepting who you are. Now, I'm serious. You think about it. If you wake up feeling good about yourself, you wake up giving yourself props, what's that going to do? It's going to make you want to get up and go out and get it. And I'm here to tell you guys, you can do it. Whatever you want in your life, you can do it. No questions asked. You know, when I was younger, I would argue with my parents. They said, well, you need to stop acting this way. Stop acting this way. It's not the way you think it is. Stop acting this way. And I didn't listen to them. And I partied for about two years. Beat myself up. Okay, And I paid for it later on. Because I didn't graduate. I didn't graduate because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't graduate because I didn't believe that I had a disability. I didn't graduate because I let others around me drag me down. I didn't graduate because I even let my own family drag me down. I hold nothing against them now, but then I did. And that's what will happen if you do the same thing. There's no better feeling than being that better person every day in your life. When you wake up and you tell yourself, I am a good person. I am good looking. I am smart. I am going to graduate. I am going to get that job. I am going to reach that goal. There is no one that can tell you any different. And there is no one that can stop you from getting what you want. The only person that can stop you from getting what you want is you. No one else. If you told me you was going to start a business and make a million dollars. And I told you, no, you're not going to do that. You can't do that. You're not smart enough. I'm still not stopping you. You know what's stopping you is if you start believing what I tell you. If you start believing in what I'm saying to you. By putting you down and dragging you into the dirt. You, you believe that. 
then you've stopped yourself, not me. Don't blame others for your own mistakes. Don't blame others for your own mistakes. Blame yourself and fix it. Because you can. Let me tell you something, folks. I'm visually impaired and I accept it 100%. And I can do almost everything that a sighted person can do. I can work on cars. I just don't use my hands. Pardon me as I swat a bee away from me. Go away bee. No stinging today. I can work on cars. And I can do a good job. There's a lot that I can do on them. Most sighted people would assume that a blind person couldn't do that. But see, we just do it differently. Don't let your eyesight slow you down. If there's something you want to do, you just got to figure out how you can do it without using your eyes. That's all. That's the only difference. You got to figure out how you're going to do it. But you are the one that's got to make that change. You got to become your own hero, kids. I've never met you in my life when I don't believe in you. Because you're walking in the same shoes that I walked in when I was that age. You're dealing with a private school. You're dealing with not seeing your, your family. And, and it hurts. And it's painful. But that can make you a stronger person. It's not going to be that way for the rest of your life. And you can't let that hold you down. And you can't let that make you a bad person. You can't let that make you a bully. Something else I'm going to cover in this podcast if I have time. It's tough. And it's rough. But it's an obstacle that you've got to get through. And once you get through it, you're going to look back and you're going to say, you know what, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. And even though there's a, there, there are a lot of uh, blind people that, that go all the way and have no problem, they go through school, no problem, and they do just fine, and that's fine. But there's also a lot of that don't know what to do. That sat on the inside and don't want to talk to nobody. They don't want nobody to know it. But I done know it. I'm not living your life. But I've lived the sequence of your life. A definition of your life. Lived a younger life with the shades down and no light. And what I mean by that is I was just stuck on myself and not believing. I didn't tell nobody. I act like the Mancho man. I acted like I was happy. I laughed. I laughed and I hung out with people, but I wasn't happy inside. Don't hold that stuff in because it will drag you down. If you're down about who you are, if you're sad about who you are, you can change that right now. You don't need nobody to tell you any different. You don't need to sit in the office every day and someone else telling you what you need to do in your life. To make it better. What you need is yourself. 
Now, there's a difference if you, you know, if you have a counselor in school and they're helping you get through different things, that's different. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fight of you being you. Believe in yourself and everything else will fall in place. You ever played that game uh, where you put the checkers in the machine or at the top of it, you drop them in with that ch uh, Chinese checkers? Think of your life being like, like a Chinese checker. And you got someone there trying to stop you. You put a checker in, they put one on top of you and they block you. Then you put another one in another spot. They put another one in and block you. But you keep on looking to get past them, don't you? Well, that's what you got to do with your life. You got to make your own path. You got to set your own destinies. You got to set your own goals. And when you do that, when you set your own goals and you set your own path and you tell yourself, you know what? Yes, I am blind. But it doesn't bother me anymore. If you got to wake up every day and tell yourself that the first thing in the morning, well, eventually it's going to be sunk in your mind and things are going to be a lot smoother. You know, if you keep on doing something every day, every day, and every day, eventually, you just go with it. It becomes, it becomes a part of you. You know, think of it as, as uh, when you go to a ball game, what is everybody there doing? Everybody there is cheering. And rooting on and rooting on and cheering. Not one person is is mad or cussing or crying. Because that game and going to a game is a built in habit. You you done know what it's gonna be when you get there and you done know how you're gonna act when you get there and you and you go with it. And you laugh and you clap. So just go with it. Tell yourself every day that you're a good person and you're going to make a difference in your life and nobody's going to stop you. You're going to get what you want in your life and nobody's going to stop you. Nobody's going to change that. I promise you, if you do that, you will be successful. Now I had a late start. Not due to anybody else. Not due to what others said to me. Due to me believing what they said to me. Due to me believing I didn't have a problem. Due to me believing that I was perfect. Due to me believing that my eyes wasn't, wasn't in the way of anything. Along with the fighting and the, all the other goofy things that you do when you when you think you got the whole world figured out. But yet, on the inside, you hate yourself and you hate who you are. If you get rid of that, I promise you, your life will be much better. <clears throat> much, much better. Let me ask you something. Did you ever want to be a hero and save somebody? And I'm, I'm talking about heroes like Batman and Spider-Man and all these other guys. Did you ever want to be a hero? 
and how great it'd make you feel to save somebody. Well, today's your chance to be that hero. To become your own hero. And save yourself from the depths of misery and sadness and hate and drugs and violence and failure. And it's not hard for you to be your own hero. You look at what's wrong. You admit to yourself what you're not admitting. And you challenge that and you defeat it. And you just became your own hero. And your life's going to get much better. Now, folks, I know that this isn't for everybody, and I know that, uh, you know, we, we've got some young ones listening, and we've got adults listening, and that's, that's wonderful. And some might be on here listening just to listen, uh, to understand more about me, and understand more about, you know, what I do, and what I know, and how I am, and how I talk to people. Okay? And that's fine. The one thing that I enjoy is being able to help others. Help you. And for you younger ones out there, I want you to think about something. I want you to think about the economy today. I know you're probably studying it, learned about it, presidents and all that. It's up to all you guys to keep going with that education and do better for our world, do better for our country, do better for your family. One day you're going to get married or have a girlfriend or boyfriend. You might even have kids. And if you got the right mindset, if you became your own hero and you saved yourself from all the horrible things, you're going to be able to give them the life that you never, that you never thought was possible. See, the one thing that... that, that one of my goals, even though it's starting late, is to be able to give my kids the things that I never had. To be able to travel with them if they want to travel, which they probably won't. They like their games too much for that. But point is, just to give them in general the things that I never had. But if you want to have a good future and a good life, you got to get rid of the negative. And for those adults that, that are stuck, you got to do the same thing. I had someone write me and tell me that they don't have their diploma or GED. They said they, they, said they wouldn't be able to do that. You know what I said to them? I wrote back and I... I with one word. I replied with one word. You know what that was? Why? Why not? No test is too big. No test is too hard. It just takes you putting yourself in the right environment giving yourself the right mindset and studying working hard and you'll get that GD you'll get that diploma but the only person that's going to get it is you 
See, I can tell you all day long all the good things that you need to do. But if you don't listen, and if you don't believe it, it won't do any good at all. You gotta believe. But believe in yourself. Don't, don't just believe in what I'm telling you. Believe in yourself for who you are and for what you can do in your life. Because that's the bigger picture. Think of me as just being your your paintbrush and your paint. Think of me as being your paint and you're the paintbrush. I'm giving you the paint but you've got to paint the picture. You've got to do it. And if you don't believe that you can do it then what good is any of it? It's not. So believe. Be your own hero. Be your own hero. Keep reminding yourself that. You wake up every day. Think of them four words. Become my own hero. Be my own hero. Change my own life. Set my own path. Take control right now. Believe in what you do, not what others do. Okay? I promise you guys, if you do this, your life will be different. You will be a better person. So I've got a challenge for you. I'm challenging you. Until next week. I'll be back on another podcast. Talking about more stuff. But I challenge you this week. To wake up, wake up every day. Every morning you wake up. I want you to get up. Go get your shower. And before you start doing anything else, sit down or go to your bathroom. Look at yourself in the mirror or just tell yourself in privacy or tell yourself quietly to yourself. I'm going to be my own hero. I'm going to succeed in life. I'm going to be a better person today. Folks, you got to think of this. And this is serious. This is real serious, but you got to think of this. Every day that you wake up, every day, could be your last day. Every day you wake up could be your last day. So don't you want to wake up and make that the best day ever of your life? Wake up and be a be a better person. Be happy. Be considerate. Be respectful. Because if that's your if that's your last day, at least you know that it was your best day. The best day of your life. You wake up every day and you make it the best day of your life that you can. Do the best that you can. But I want you to wake up and I want you to do that. I want you to remind yourself that you are a good person. That you're not ugly, that you're not dumb, that you're not fat, that you're not stupid, that you're not a failure. 
that you can do it and that you will do it and that you will be your own hero. That you will become your own hero. I want you to do that every day for as long as it takes to where eventually when you wake up, it's just automatic. And you just automatically tell yourself this is going to be a great day. This is going to be a fantastic day. And I promise you it will change your life. Alright folks. We are going to move on. To the bullies. I do not dislike anybody. I do not hate anyone. I dislike what some people do in their life. And I say this to any bullies out there. What makes you better than me? What makes you bigger than me what makes you think that you're a good person by pushing me around by hitting on me or making fun of me or belittling me or degrading me what makes you think that you are that perfect person and that everybody just thinks you're the coolest person in the world? Because a bully is just the dumbest person in the world. Did you know that? A bully is the dumbest person in the world. It's not smart at all. It's inconsiderate, disrespectful, rude. And it needs to stop. And if anyone out there is being bullied and you're not telling nobody, you need to tell somebody. Folks, there are people that commit suicide because someone picks on them. What if that's you one day? What if you were that bully picking on somebody and you go into school the next day and you find out that that person you've been picking on and making fun of and laughing at hung himself or cut their wrist or overdosed? How's it going to make you feel? You might be just Shrugging it off right now. But I promise you, if that happens, your life will be hell. Because someone's going to know. Someone will find out. And when they do, you'll be sitting in prison for the rest of your life. And then someone else will be your bully. And you'll be the one being picked on. Think about that. How's it going to make you feel? And why does it make you feel like you're a bigger person by making someone else feel like they're the worst person in the world? By making fun of them, calling them too fat or too skinny or dumb or four eyes. What makes you perfect? Nothing. I'd say it to your face if I could. But I say it to you through this podcast. Because I can. And I'm telling you that you are. Being a bad person. A person that. I could never like and I could never respect. Picking on somebody doesn't make you a better person. It makes you a fool. 
Makes you an idiot. But maybe you're doing that because you feel bad about yourself. You feel bad about who you are. And if that's the case, you need to rewind this podcast and listen to the beginning over again. But maybe that's why. Maybe it's because you you don't like who you are. Even though there's nothing wrong with you. And the great gift of getting along with everybody is so much better than the results of bullying somebody around and pushing somebody around like they're garbage. It makes you out to be an idiot. And even though people don't say it to you, I guarantee you've got friends that think that under their breath. They might be laughing. Ha ha. That's funny. Man, that's funny you did that to that boy. That's funny. Oh, it, those, those names are funny. But under their breath, they're thinking, I feel bad for that kid. Maybe he shouldn't be picking on him. Because it's not you that goes home and cries in your bedroom. It's not you that goes home and locks yourself in your bedroom and turns on the music and doesn't come out. It's not you that stops eating because you think you're too fat. Because people tell you you're too fat. Or people tell you you're too skinny. That you're an anorexic. That you can't see. That you wear dorky clothes. You make them people not want to come to school. And it's the wrong way to live because it will catch up with you. And the only way it's going to change if you change it. Sure, we can suspend you and we can lecture you and we can tell you all the things that that you're doing wrong how it makes you look but you've got to change it you've got to stand up just be that better person even if you don't want to apologize and you're not ready to apologize and you're too embarrassed to apologize just don't bother the person no more wait a while and then Bring yourself back into that group and start getting along with that person. Say hi to them. Ask them how they're doing. And I promise you, by you just saying, hey, how you doing today? That person you're bullying is going to feel so good. If you're a victim of being bullied, you need to report it. I mean it, kids. Report it. Go to someone and report it. Don't worry about the threats. Oh, if you tell on me, I'm going to beat you up after school. Because if if, if you go to someone and you get dealt with, arrangements can be made and that's not going to happen to you. Moving away from the bees again. You let somebody know if you're being picked on like that. Don't overlook it. There's no reason for you to feel bad about yourself. And there's no reason for you to let others make you feel bad about yourself. And there's no reason for others to hit on you or tease you or make fun of you. And for those bullies that might be listening, you're an idiot. You're an idiot and you got no respect. 
And just because your life is going bad and because you don't like what's going on with yourself and you don't like what's going on at home, <clears throat> it gives you no right, no right at all to sit there and think that you can humiliate other people and bring them down because you're at a low level. That's right. Reality is, I don't care who you are. And reality is, I'll tell you. I've seen people being bullied. I've seen people cry. I've seen reports of people committing suicide by hanging themselves or taking pills or drinking or jumping from a bridge because of you idiots. Because of you idiots that feel bad about yourself and feel like you've got to belittle other people because that'll make you feel better. It's because of you people. It's because of you bullies that take down the other people that ruin their life. Who do you think you are? What gives you the right to ruin somebody else's life? You know, I see bullies. I see some of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see some of them that are bigger boys. And they'll make fun of somebody else that's big. Look in the mirror. Stop making fun of other people because you feel bad about who you are. You're not a bad person about because of the way you look. You're not a bad person because of the way you dress. <clears throat> You're not a bad person because of the way you talk or the way you walk or the way you speak. You're a bad person because of the way you treat other people. The last time I gave a speech about bullies was a while back. And when I did it, I got as, I got as fired up as I am now because it disgusts me. It disgusts me that bullies think that they can run other people's life and destroy their life. Because as bullies do that to the other children and other people and those that did take their own life because of it, you're still living and they're not. And how does that, how does that make things right? Folks, don't be a victim of being bullied. Get yourself out of that situation and tell someone. Back to the bullies. Back to the self-shooters. If you continue to be a, a bully, it could be you that ruins somebody else's life. Nobody should have to wake up and worry about, oh, I got to go to school today. Great. I got to deal with Billy Bob. He's going to take my lunch today or he's going to make me buy him a drink. Or you'll make fun of me on the bus. Nobody should have to wake up and not want to go to school because of you jerks. Because of those of you that think that you can control somebody else's life by bringing them down. Grow up. Stop being an idiot. Like I said earlier, stop the podcast, rewind it, listen to it again. Over and over and over if you have to. Stop being a bully. Figure out what you can do to make your life better. And I promise you, you won't do it to others ever again. I guarantee it. If you figure out why you're doing it and what's wrong with your life and how you can make your life better, you'll never bother someone else again. Last year, last year, 
My son came home. Okay? My son came home last year. And he was home for a week. And come to find out that his that, that someone he knew in school was bullied. And guess what they did? They hung themselves. So let me tell you something, kids. Don't be a bully. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a punk. Don't be a prick. There's a lot of people that take bullying very seriously. Matter of fact, my oldest boy's here now. Come here. Come here. He's going to go to school. Uh, talk loudly, loud enough to tell these people, these kids, what happens if they bully other kids. What happens? You're probably going to get fucking expelled or suspended. What's your mouth? What else happens? What happened last year at your school? What happened whenever uh, this girl was being picked on all the time? What'd she do? She killed herself. She killed herself. Because of some punk. Don't be a bully. Say goodbye to the children. And goodbye. What do you got to say to bullies without cussing? What do you think about it? Without cussing? About bullies. What do you got to say to any bullies that might be listening right now? If there's a bully listening right now, what would you want to say to them? I don't know. Without cussing. I don't like it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My kid knew that girl that killed herself. Okay? Don't be a bully. Figure out what's wrong with you. Figure out what's wrong with your life. Listen to my podcast over and over and over if you have to. Change it. And stop picking on other people. And folks, if you are being bullied. If you are being pushed around. If you are being told what to do. Or being hit on. Or being smacked on. Don't ignore Tell someone. Don't believe what other people say about you. And if a bully approaches you again, you tell them, you can just leave me alone. You can get out of my face because I'm not taking it anymore. The only way bullying is going to stop is when people stand up to it and say, stop. They see you're scared. It just gives them more power to want to do it. Show them you're not scared. And I'm not saying fight. Fighting solves nothing. But don't let them bring you down. You tell someone if you have to, if it's that bad. If it's that serious. And for you bullies, knock it off. Figure out what you can do to change your life. Stop trying to control others because you can't control your own. I hope everybody here got a valuable lesson out of this today. Uh, there's all kinds of information you can get as far as uh, bullies and uh, there, there's all types of different groups for bullies and uh, support and all that stuff. So if you need support, if you need help, figure out what you got to do. Talk to a teacher. Uh, talk to your parents. Don't be scared to go to your parents or whoever. Don't be scared. Okay? If you would ever like to talk to me about anything, if you would ever like to to give me your uh, thoughts on, on being, you know, on bullies or any of that, Send me an email, johnny at theblindnation.com. I'd be glad to talk with you. If you are a victim of being bullied and you're scared to talk to anyone and you need to talk to someone, call me. Well, email me first and then we'll connect. Okay? If you're a bully and you want to change and you don't want to do it no more, call me. I'm not going to... I'm not going to hate you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to get you to stop doing it. I'm going to help you do better. Okay? 
And trust me, I've been through all, I've been through seven kinds of hell in my life from doing the wrong things and not believing. I can help you. If you need help and, and, and you've never reached out to get it, reach out and get it because I'll help you. I'll be the shoulder that you need. I'll be the shoulder that you can lean on. I'll be the ear that listens. And I'll be the voice that you need. Okay? Remember that. If you need anything, Johnny at TheBlindNation.com Alright? At some point, there will be uh, more information on our website about bully, uh, bully support groups and all that. It's not up there yet, but it will be. Okay? I don't hate no one. I love everybody. I don't hate you bullies. Yeah, I raise my voice and I get frustrated. I get aggravated. Just because. It's not right. Innocent people have died because of bullying. Innocent people. Innocent people that had their whole life ahead of them. Died. Didn't even get a chance in life. Because a bully took it from them. A bully took their own chance in life right out of their own hands. Don't be one of them people, guys. It'll haunt you for the rest of your life. And you'll end up being a miserable person. Okay? I love every single one of you guys. Every single one of you. Uh oh. I'm trying to see what happened here. There we go. Sorry about that. I thought that my uh, podcaster stopped on me. But listen to me, guys. I enjoy doing the podcast like this. Uh, you, you'll hear more of my uh, support podcast and other, other things uh, of the sort. I'm here to help people in any way I can. It was requested that I did a a podcast about bullies, so I just threw it in with the uh, uh, motivational podcast that I did today, did both in one. I hope that you guys found value in this. I do. It means the world to me. I love every single one of you. Those of you that might be listening through YouTube or uh, Periscope, wherever you might be, I love every one of you guys. If you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, please go to YouTube uh, and subscribe. It's youtube.com slash Jess, J-E-S-S-T-E-P-78. YouTube.com slash J-E-S-S-T, as in Tom, E-P-78. Subscribe to my YouTube. Love to have you. I'm, I'm going to do all I can to... To continue to to grow the YouTube uh, Blind Nation family. We have a lot of fun over there. We do. So if you're not a part of that, you are more than welcome to join. Okay? Email me for any questions. Johnny at TheBlindNation.com And uh, be looking for more vlogs coming later on on the YouTube. And for that said... I give my shout out to all my friends on YouTube, uh, Brandy and Georgia and Joanne and Jeffrey and Jerry and uh, Nova and uh, all you wonderful people out there, the subscribers that I've not met yet or not had, you know, uh, seen names by yet or comments. Um, there was another one, Studio Something. Uh, shout out to you as well. 
Love every one of you guys, man. I do. I hope that this makes a difference. And I hope that you found value in this podcast. I hope that you find value in all my podcasts that I do. You guys take care. And I'll see you on my next podcast tomorrow. Bye-bye.